Welcome back to the Kathy Raley Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevens Women's Lacrosse head coach Kathy Raley. And coach, another just one game last week against <laughs> Albright. Close one, 8-7 win. Talk about that victory. Well, a couple things. You know, we were going to be without Kaylee Bunce, which we knew would keep our score total down due to the fact that a lot of things run through Keeley. Some, a lot of our set plays run through Keeley. Um, even in our creative motion style, she's often the one who has the assist, has the great shot, or she's the one who throws the ball to the girl that has the assist. So, um, you know, missing her, we knew we'd be kind of lower in total in goals. Uh, I really thought we stepped it up on the draw. I thought uh, outside of a few kind of minor fouls on that, I thought we did a great job of really taking care of business at the draw. We, it was one of the things that we were worried about. Um, and other than that, I thought we played, you know, pretty decent D to, to hold a good team who's been averaging, you know, 12, 13 goals a game to seven is uh, – that's that's a good job by our defense. So all in all, I thought it was a – it was a pretty good game. I think we're just really starting to get there of what our what we're trying to do with some of the top teams in the MAC. Yeah, talking about defense, we could talk about Jamie Bittner and Sarah sure. Rarity, but Gabby DiGello, she was named the MAC Defensive Player of the Week this week. Kind of having a breakthrough year back there on defense. She sure is, and you know, I we I talked to her just the other day in practice. I said, Gabby, you, just to see how far you have come, and this is before she got the award. This was on Sunday. Um, how far she's come in in these t past two years and now we're at two and a half years it's just so heartwarming to see and it did not come by accident it came by really hard work out of all the players we have i'm not sure i've ever seen a player get against the wall as much as i've seen gabby get against the wall in her first two seasons um you know her her contribution in the clears are enormous now whereas before we had to have sets where we didn't really want to use her we wanted to use some of the, the better catching and throwing players where she has really um come a long way defensively this year is she is not fouling near as much um it was pretty much a guarantee in years past although she is so quick so athletic so physically strong um she was fouling one in three times of contacting somebody. Now she has zeroed it in on how to play defense with her feet and use that strength to keep a girl out without putting her on the free position line. Coming up with ground balls, coming up with stick checks. I'm really proud of her. Yeah, turning the page this week, mm -hmm. big week this yes, week. Let's start yes. with lie combing Wednesday. You two are similar in statistic wise. Your team ranks fifth in the country in free position percentage, mm -hmm. convert it. They rank six. Yes. They also have a player who has over 100 draw controls right, this right. year. So, one, how do you slow her down, and then how do you get to the to the eight meter arc and hold them not yeah. there? Yeah, I, I, you know, I think we're going to have to have a big goalie day. I think we're going to have to have a goalie in the cage that sees the ball well, anticipates well, and really starts her motion and finishes her motion well in the cage. That can be a difference maker. Um, you know, Lycoming averages so many goals a game. Their attack is extremely threatening. They don't stop moving. They have a creative left-hander. And they've got two girls who will go hard to cage hoping to draw a foul. So we have spent the last two practices really talking about the fact that we want to contain them. We don't want to go for anything extra on those three girls. We just want to contain. If we can do that and not put them on the free position line, I think that we have a good chance. The other thing is that we've had an amazing breakthrough in on attack I think in the last two or three practices so I'm really hoping that tra translates from practice into games I think we've got it to a point that everybody understands what they're supposed to be doing everybody knows how to move I would expect to see and I really hope to see that we should be doubling our our goal average total in these next uh, few games yeah one of those next few games is on Saturday at Messiah mm -hmm. Pretty familiar with them. Sure. We play them twice a year yes. almost. Talk about that matchup. Well, I think they're going to bring something that we don't regularly see. I think that their pressure between the 30s is something that we're not used to. We don't see against many teams. Um, so combating that is, is going to be enormous for us. And we're really going to utilize Thursday and Friday to make sure that we can, that we can do that. Um, as far as the D matchup, as far as the attack matchup, I think both teams are capable of scoring. I think both teams have really good, solid defenses. Um, if you look at the scores against common opponents, they're close. I mean, they're, they're, they nearly mimic each other outside of, I think, Messiah might score a goal or two more than we do, but we hold a team 
two, two or three fewer goals. So that scoring margin is, is the same in some of our common opponents. It's going to come down to, again, I hate to say it, but it's going to come down to the hot goalie. If we, if we have the hot goalie, I think we'll be good. They have an, a, a more inexperienced player in the goal, so we're hoping to really release a lot of shots on her. Um, you know, I, th I think it could go our way if we, if we put it all together in this next couple of days. But tomorrow will be a good test. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in both games Great. this week, and we'll see you back here next week. Great. Thank you. For Coach Kathy Raley, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Kathy Raley Show.